I'm Susan Feiner. I've always loved art. I've always made art. Mostly what I do is intuitive. I experiment and play a lot. That's my approach. I never limited myself to one medium. Way back when I was a kid, I liked to draw. I liked, I remember going through this stage where I did rubbings of everything with texture I could find. So texture was a big thing from the beginning. I approached art kind of through the back door instead of going to art school or starting with painting. I was a little bit nervous about a blank canvas. So I actually took weaving lessons and that seemed more accessible to me. And then from there, I got more and more, I loosened up into, well, what do I really want to express and how can I play and experiment with this? I patch things together, but it's very unlike a quilt in that I'm not working off a set pattern. So I'll have bunches and piles of fabrics that I've already played with, that I've already painted or sewed on or uh, printed. And then I'll combine them and then sometimes I'll add to them. So you'll see a lot of hand stitching and then machine stitching. So it's, there's just a lot of balancing of order and chaos or of structure and play. Nature has played a very big part. In New York, I was on Long Island, so I had access to all the museums and galleries. And I was influenced by artists, but I was also very close, five minutes away from the beach. So I feel like in a way nature was even more influential because of the textures. And as a little kid, I was kind of a shy little kid and I'd spend a lot of time alone just like sitting on the beach and sifting through stones and popping seaweed. And it was all about texture. And that just sunk into me. That was sort of, it, it left a lot of uh, memories in my brain. And so I've been working on this white series. At this point, there are like 12 of them. What happens is when you take away color, any way you limit yourself in art allows you to go deeper into what is already there. It's allowed me to go deeper into the texture. So I start with fabric. Um, I treat the fabric in all kinds of ways. There's a lot of paint which is applied very thickly. And there's an acrylic medium called pumice gel. And it adds a very pebbly, coarse texture. And I really like that. And especially in contrast to very soft, little fluffy yarns and things. So I like contrasting those textures. I rip holes, I fold things, I layer things. So this is even like a pocket. I mean, it's just totally layered on. When you layer things, you're hiding things, but you're also adding a little bit of mystery sometimes and unexpectedness. I consider what I do sometimes very playful because I don't know what's gonna happen when I start and I let things take me on a journey. I sometimes think of jazz music where there's improvisation. So um, I have a basic knowledge of materials and composition, just like a musician, a jazz musician knows composition, knows technique. But then you're carried away by some kind of internal rhythm and being very um, overjoyed in finding it wherever I can. 